In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up different mouse settings for a single application using profiles, in this case for Final Cut Pro. The first setting I'm going to create is also our default setting for Final Cut Pro. Basically what the mouse will do is perform like a jog shuttle wheel. In this first setting, we'll have left and right mouse movement scrub us through our timeline. Left and right click will be our endpoints and outpoints. Scroll up and down will take us frame by frame through our project, and side button 1 will function as play pause. Notice in my HD mouse interface that I have profile 1 selected. Then make sure that you are on the Final Cut Pro application setting. I'm going to start by programming in my left and right shuttle movement. This would apply to my horizontal mouse movement. In Final Cut, certain shortcut keys are assigned to different speed increments. Control F6, for example, is the first rewind speed, and Control F2 is the fastest. What I need to do is input each speed increment into a mouse movement, getting faster as I move further left. I'll start by inputting Control F6 into my left 1 position. To do this, simply click keyboard input once left 1 is selected and type the keystroke into the box on the right. The next rewind speed increment will be Control F5 so I will program that in next. This time I will choose left 2 position for the HD mouse. Then program in Control F5. I will continue this process until I've put in all of Final Cut's speed increments. Note that since Final Cut only has 5 rewind speed increments, you will have 2 leftover HD mouse arrows you do not need to program. On the right hand side, I will do basically the same thing but this time program in the shortcut keys for fast forward, again going from slowest to quickest. For right one position, I'll be programming in Control F7, as that's Final Cut's first fast forward command. I'll continue as I did before and fill out the rest of the arrows with Control F8, Control F9, and so on. Since Final Cut has one more fast forward increment than it does rewind, I'll end up with only one unprogrammed arrow this time instead of 2. Also, you'll want to remember to input the letter K as your center command. This will stop your mouse from continually shuttling once you bring the mouse back to center. Once I'm finished with all of those, I'm ready to move on to my mouse buttons. As I stated before, I want my left and right click to be my in and out points in my timeline. So I'm going to first choose left button and input the letter I, which means in point in Final Cut. For right button, I'll input O. The next thing I want to do is have my scroll wheel advance frame by frame in my timeline. So I'll start by choosing scroll up. Since I want scroll up to advance forward one frame, I'll input the right arrow button on my keyboard. For scroll down, I'll input the left arrow button. Lastly, I want to make my left side button play pause. So I'll select it, then input the spacebar command which means play pause in Final Cut. One more thing I like to do is always add a reset to center function for my play pause button. What reset to center will do is ensure that the moment you start moving right or left after a pause, you will correctly shuttle in that direction. For example, if you didn't reset to center and you paused while your mouse was in right position five, the moment you start moving left again, you'd hit right position four, which is actually a fast forward command when you presumably would have wanted that left movement to start rewinding. The reset to center option sends your mouse position back to center directly after completing whatever input you've programmed in for that button. Feel free to check out the HD mouse manual under the help file if you need more info about this or any other feature. Remember to always hit apply after you've finished your settings so that it saves what you have done. Now that the first profile is complete, I'm going to start creating my second one. I'll first be sure to choose Profile 2 before I start changing any settings. For this second setting, I'm going to have my mouse basically behave as normal, but add a few shortcut keys I commonly use. We do not have to program anything into mouse movement this time, as I want it to just function as normal. My left and right click will also behave as normal. However, I will also make them in and out points when holding a modifier key. The scroll wheel will still be frame by frame like it was with the last setting, 
and my side buttons will now take me to the previous or next edit point. First, click on the left and right button to make sure they are programmed as left and right button. You'll also want to make sure the option Hold Down is chosen from the drop-down menu below. To program in my modifier key option, I need to go into the Pro Settings tab. Above the list of buttons, you'll see my possible modifier choices. For this setting, I'm going to use the Shift modifier. Once the Shift modifier is chosen, I'll select my left button and program in an I for endpoint. Next, I'll select my right button and input an O for out point. Be sure to turn off your modifier key choice when you are done using it. For scroll up, just like last time, I'm going to input a right arrow, and for scroll down, a left arrow. For side button 1, which is also my left side button, I want to program in previous edit point, which is the semicolon key in Final Cut. For side button 2, or the right side button, I want next edit point, which is the quote key next to the semicolon. Since I use it often, I'll also go ahead and program in my play pause command just like last time. However, instead of clicking just my left side button to do it, I'll make it a shift plus left side button click. Once again, select the shift modifier, choose side button 1, then program in spacebar. There is no need to add a reset to center this time since we are not using mouse movement as a shuttle anymore. Be sure to hit apply again when you are finished. Now all you'll need to do is simply choose the profile you wish to use, then open your Final Cut Pro document. Remember that these settings will only take effect when you are in HD mode. When you are in normal mode, it will behave as any other normal mouse. To enter HD mode by default, you simply click down on your scroll wheel button. For more information about HD mode or how to enter it differently, please refer to our user manual under the Help File menu.